So the wait is finally over. Pixel OS based on Android 16, it's here. It's available for few of the devices unofficially. And as far as I know right now while making this video, I guess it's not available officially yet, but it might be available soon because it's unofficially available. So you can still give it a try if you want to, if, you, if this is available for your device. Based on Android 16, which are the things you will get in this one? First of all, if you're able to notice, new settings UI. New colorful icons are the part of this custom ROM and Pixel OS is one of the only few custom ROMs out there which is quite minimal and does not have major customizations. We have new expressive UI available everywhere, the new switches, new progress bar icons and so on. This is a part of this latest version. Because it is based on Android 16, so we have this apps list option available in Pixel Launcher. Whenever you hold here, you will see we have the option named as apps list. Everything else seems to be quite similar, nothing new, nothing unique in this case. It's quite simple. We have some features missing which are the part of Android 16 QPR because it's not based on QPR yet. So yes, we have the stable features and few of the features inspired from that. We have the new quick settings panel, but if you're able to notice one thing, one major difference as compared to some of the other custom rooms is the blur. We have a dark background in this quick settings panel. Although the options to customize this, to resize these tiles, you can simply reposition them and so on. Everything is just similar. We have the new brightness slider available too and so on, but it is not having that blur in the background. Also, if you move on to some other options, you will see game space. It is a part of this new update and also have few of the other tweaks, which some of you might love, some of you might not as I don't play games. So I guess I will not be able to comment on this one for sure. Including this game space options and so on, we have some other tweaks too. If you're able to see the volume panel, it's not the new one. It's quite simple, minimal, and it's from Android 15. Android 16 is having the new volume panel, which is a part of latest QPR update, which might be available later on. And that is one of the main highlights of a new Android version. Wallpapers and style UI, it's also from Android 15. So similar things here and all the clock styles and themed icons options already present in this case. And if you move on to more wallpapers, as it is having all the pixel wallpapers things pre-installed, AI wallpapers, emoji workshop, all the features are present. New wallpapers and style UI is also not available in this case. If you move on to display options, you will see the icon manager available. So you can enable or disable some icons from status bar. And also the internet speed meter icon is also available as an option. Uh, also, it does not have any customizations to configure some things, but it's still available, which you can enable or disable. It also brings you the support for display saturation. Changing the color mode in display settings will override the saturation level. So it's, to it's totally up to you if you want to use it or not. It's just completely optional. Moving on to security and privacy options. If you move on to more security and privacy options, you will notice the option named as ignore window secure flags. It's available. It's good. I guess it's, it's very, very useful in some cases, removing the screenshot and screen record limits in some certain apps, which in which actually it does not allow you. So it's good. But as you can see, we have some other options which are quite similar. Nothing new, nothing unique. It also brings you the same option named as private space, which is absolutely fine. One of the things which I loved about Android 15 was the private space support. And it is just so good. I personally love this. I use it on a daily basis and it's just so useful. And I guess I sh you should definitely use it in case you did not use it yet. It's a, one of the most useful things out there. You have to use this thing for sure. It works flawlessly as it is a pixel launcher. So you can also hide this private space in case you want to. Many things, many features are present, which you want to love for sure. This is what about we have about this Pixel OS custom room. As I just told you, it's available unofficially for some of the devices. And if it is not available unofficially, or maybe if it is available for your device, you can install it. If it is not, it might be available soon later on. You can still give it a try. This was about the first impressions initial look based on Android 16 for this one. If you want to check it out, you can. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. We'll see you in the next one.